Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a fun and easy activity that you can do with your kids or your students to model a watershed. The activity that I'm going to be introducing you to can be found on our activities and education portal on fishandboat.com. The name of the activity is Build a Watershed, Just Add Water. The main objectives of today's activity are to A, describe and define what a watershed is, B, describe and define what a drainage basin is, and C, have your students make predictions about how they themselves impact their watershed, how their communities impact their watershed, and have them make inferences about what the phrase, we all live downstream, actually means. So the materials that you're going to require to start this activity, first, is just some any type of material like newspaper, if you have some recycled newspaper in your classrooms, that'd work great as well. And you're just gonna crumple that up and put that inside of a white trash bag. So what that's gonna do is represent the topography or the landscape that makes up our watershed and our drainage basin. The other thing that you're gonna need are some spray bottles and some food coloring. So you can see I've got three different little fingertip spray bottles here. I would definitely recommend that you utilize a larger spray bottle with a little bit more output because take it from me, your students or your kids are going to complain about the great fingertip workout they get with these bottles. But anyway, I'll talk about why you're going to need the other colors when we get to the extensions. You're also going to need some cocoa or some hot chocolate and I'll talk about why you're going to want this when we get to the extensions of this activity as well. So essentially to get started, after you've made the topography, and when you make this you're going to want to make it so that you have sort of your smaller watersheds represented on either side, and then your main drainage basin in the middle. So let's just say we're trying to represent the Susquehanna Basin, Pennsylvania's largest watershed, um, with this activity, with this model. So the actual Susquehanna River will run through our main drainage basin right here. And you can explain to your students how all of the water in this watershed will eventually end up in the Chesapeake Bay. And then you can sort of define and describe a watershed using the smaller watersheds found that you've created here. So you can see how you have the imaginary lines right here that we call watershed divides. And how when we add precipitation, which you can see we've already doused this thing in an effort to save time. But as you have your students add precipitation, this is when you can explain how what rainfall or precipitation that falls on this side goes into this stream rain rainfall that falls on this side goes into this stream however both of these streams end up in the same common river basin which is what we have here so as your students are dousing this you'll notice how you have different pools fill up and you can actually see the water draining down to maybe we have an impoundment down here so it's a great opportunity opportunity for you to introduce the concepts of lakes, rivers, streams, how those all have different habitats and different communities that live within them. This is also a great opportunity for you to introduce the water cycle. If this is something that you want to try to talk about with this activity as well, you certainly can do that. So now we've gone over, you'll, you'll have gone over at this point with your students, A, how to define and describe a watershed, how to define and describe a major river basin. This is also a great opportunity for you to introduce the six major river basins that are found in Pennsylvania. So we modeled the Susquehanna here, but it's important to remember that we also have within Pennsylvania these major basins as well. So you can go over the Lake Erie watershed, the Ohio watershed, the Genesee watershed, the Delaware, and the Potomac as well. So now we're going to talk about some of the extensions that you can do after you've already modeled your watershed. And this is what's going to get your students thinking about how they themselves impact their watershed or how their community impacts their watershed. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the red to imitate abandoned mine drainage. So all you can do is let's just say, let's just say we have a mine right here. So you can begin to spray that red and you can use that to have your students start to predict how that's going to affect that watershed, affect the community of organisms that live within and outside of that. So that's going to serve as say a point source of pollution. Then we're going to, we can utilize the orange and have that represent acid rain. Oh, and things are going to turn pretty colors when you mix the 
makes a different spray. But you can use that to have your students start to make predictions about how acid rain is going to affect both the humans and the animals that live in that system or in that watershed. Next, you can go ahead, utilize the cocoa, sort of spread this around. Then have your students add rain to that. And this is a great opportunity for you to talk about sedimentation and how we obviously have a lack of trees on this landscape and how that's gonna greatly improve the surface or greatly increase the surface runoff and you can just see all that sedimentation entering in the main drainage basin. So sort of to summarize this activity, this is when you want to talk about how, you know, everyone lives downstream. We all live downstream and how everything that we do, all of our actions upstream is going to affect everyone downstream and it's just a continuous cycle. And that no matter where you stand in Pennsylvania, you're in a watershed downstream of somewhere. So to learn more about this activity, as I mentioned before, you can find it on the Activities and Education Portal. Thank you.